To be honest, I don't have a specific memory of when Nicole became a part of my life. However, I do vividly remember going through our peak awkward stage together, which unfortunately is well documented with digital camera selfies. <laughs> Fast forward to the summer of 2018, Nicole and I were closer than ever, and she basically lived at my apartment with me. This was also the first time I started hearing about Alex. Our late night combos quickly turned into strategic planning of what she should respond to his text and how long she should wait until she sent her reply. I quickly came to the realization that this was becoming something serious and this Alex guy was different. You are the most generous, kind, selfless friend and now my sister that I could ever ask for. When I was preparing for this speech, I was trying to think of a memory from growing up with Alex, and I kept coming back to Pee Wee football. <laughs> this was our first year of tackle football when we were eight years old. One thing to know about Alex is he's a pretty peaceful guy. He's not confrontational. He's not violent. And I have never really been tackled before because this is my first day of tackle football. So I'm thinking, oh, it's just Alex, okay? I'm not really scared of Alex. And he laid me out. <laughs> and I was so surprised. I had grass on my helmet and I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that this guy had done this to me. That's the thing about Alex. He's a very, very humble person. <laughs> the thing that I really respect about Nicole is she genuinely cares. And it's so easy to see, even from somebody who's not involved in that area at all, when a baby that she is taking care of pulls through, she is so excited about it and tells everyone, up, gives them updates about her baby. Yeah. I'm just so happy that I get to be a part of your family now, and I think you guys are just perfect for each other. I love you both so much, and I'm so endlessly happy for you to start this life together. Over the years, we saw that grow into this beautiful relationship that we see and that we're here celebrating today. Everyone in this room can attest to the strength of the love between Alex and Nicole, and so can Stevie, who is, I think, probably the most loved dog in the entire world. <laughs> Nicole, I could never imagine a better partner for my brother Alex. And I also couldn't imagine a better nurse, a better dog mom, a better friend, or a better sister-in-law. We could not be happier to have you in our family. In the name of God, I, Alex, take you, Nicole, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Nicole, take you, Alex, to be my husband. To have and to hold. And to stay forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. For love and to share it. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. To me, the McParlins have always been the definition of a chosen family. 
While we are not blood related, they are absolutely family in my eyes. Throughout our ever-changing lives, they have been the one constant. And Alex is no different. He fit right into our unconventional chosen family and I could not be happier to have him be a part of it. And although Nicole is technically a younger sister to me, I have always looked up to her and I will continue to look in her and Alex through every season of our lives because they are undoubtedly the perfect example of fierce love and loyalty. <laughs> Alex, as your triplet brothers, Nick and I are the third and fourth happiest people in the room today. <laughs> because we see how truly happy you are, both of you. To Alex and Nicole, there's still a lifetime of health and happiness together. So cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Nash. And then one looking at each other, brothers, also brothers. <laughs> <laughs>